So you know people always come back from Europe with these great stories about the adventures that they had there. It's like, you know, you go to Europe, it's like, oh, I met this wonderful, attractive man in Paris and we fell in love and it was this whirlwind romance. Let me tell you about the story that I have so far in Germany, but I need to address myself. So, story time, guys. In case you didn't know, I'm in Germany right now. I'm in Weimar, which is a little town. List used to live here. If you don't know who List is, Google it. So Wikipedia is for children. So I'm here for a month with my parents because my dad needs to do some research. And, you know, my parents, they're really big into classical music. So they went off to a concert about a half hour ago. I would tell you what the concert was, but I wasn't really paying that much attention because I don't really care. They are the ones who care about classical music in the family, not me. But, so they left me here figuring, well, we'll tell her what time to get on the bus. She will use her bus pass. She will go down to where our friend Beargate lives. And then we will all eat dinner there and then we will go to see museums tonight, which will be great. Maybe I'll film something. Probably not. I'll take pictures though. So, you know, they write everything down, they go off, and then I check my mother's email, and I see that there's an email from Beargate, and using Google Translate, because let me tell you, I do not speak a word of German, literally, the only sentence that I can say in German is, I don't speak any German. Like, it's not even, like, people are going to say, I'm not fluent or anything, but, you know, I know, like, basic phrases. If I get lost, I am screwed. I literally speak no German. I translate her email, and apparently the bus runs on a different schedule on Saturdays and it does on every other day of the week, and my parents didn't know that. If I'd gone down to the bus stop at the time they had told me, there would be no bus. I would be standing there and they would all be wondering where I was and be like, well, you know, told me to go down at 5.30. I'm reading her email and it says that it's so-and-so time you need to get go down to the bus stop at Kuhlstrasse. And I think that that's the bus stop that's right by this house, but I'm not sure. So I'm like, well, I have the keys and everything. I'll just go and check that. So here's the thing. I don't know whether I'm just lock challenged or whether all European locks hate me, but I've already been having troubles with the locks to get into the door to the apartment. But you know, I managed to get out of the front door, I lock it, and then I go down to our gate, our back gate entrance in the wall. And I go out of that and it locks on its own. And then you have a key and you're supposed to like turn the key and then the gate will push open. I think you could already tell where the story is going. <laughs> but I go out, I walk up the street, I look at the bus stop sign, it is indeed Kuhlstrasse. And then I'm like, well, okay, now I know where to go at, certain at this certain time to catch the bus. So I walk back and I take out my key, I put it in the lock for the gate, and I cannot open the gate at all. I'm just sitting there for five minutes turning the key around and around, and the, like, the latch is changing, like you can hear it, the latch is releasing, the door isn't opening. So, I stand there for a really long minute, and I consider the gate, then I turn slowly to my right, and I look at the wall, and I think, I can totally jump that. So, so far, the only adventure that I've had in Germany is that I locked myself, out of the garden to my own apartment, had to take off my nice shirt so that I didn't cover it in like moss, leap the wall, tumble ungracefully into the backyard, almost get attacked by a bee, and then <laughs> somehow managed to unlock the door into the apartment, and now we're here. So I've been having good times here. I'm just gonna go someplace and weep. DFTBA. Let us step into the night and pursue that flighty temptress adventure. J.K. Rowling, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince.